focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. India to global, four years of real me. Today we live in a country that is driven by rising aspirations of a younger India, a promising GDP growth, the evolving business landscape, the advent of 5G network and technological and digital innovations across sectors. India is well on the cusp of scripting a unique growth story as it ushers in the era of Amrit Kal, the 25-year lead-up to India at 100. Some of the major flagship programs like Make in India, Digital India, Atmanirbhar Bharat and PLI incentives have already started bearing fruits. Now the growing internet penetration is rapidly reducing the digital divide. Adding to that, the availability of cheap data coupled with digital literacy and access have unlocked the world of opportunities and possibilities for Indian businesses. So how are the new age consumer tech brands revitalizing their business strategies to keep pace with these changing market dynamics? Today we are at one of the world's fastest growing consumer tech brands that's creating some ripples in an already crowded market. Hello and welcome to Realme's Revolution. I'm Mukda Kalra and in this episode we shall deep dive on the theme from India to global four years of Realme. The brand has taken several successful steps to bolster its position in the Indian and global markets. Let's delve into the various phases of Realme's journey and discover the brand's success mantra. Founded on 4th May 2018 by Sky Lee and Madhav Shet, Realme has emerged as one of the world's fastest growing smartphone brand today with 126 million users worldwide and counting. Realme started its journey by selling smartphones online and subsequently expanded its presence with offline stores across India. The goal was to create a brand that resonated with the younger generation and hence they debuted with Realme One. In just one year of operations, Realme managed to become the fourth best-selling smartphone brand in India and seventh worldwide, harnessing primarily on its product philosophy, amalgamation of outstanding designs with advanced cutting-edge technologies. The brand's tagline, Dare to Leap, echoes well with the aspiration and attributes of its target market segment, the youth. As a company propelled by youngsters, Realme dares to take a leap beyond the ordinary so as to disrupt the existing mobile phone market with its holistic smartphone portfolio from entry level up to flagship segments which include the GT series, number series, Nazo series and C series. Realme boasts of multiple industry firsts when it comes to the smartphone market. India's first 5G smartphone first 64 MP camera, India's first quad camera smartphone, fastest 50 watt and 65 watt charge in India, one of the first to showcase 125 watt ultra dark charge, Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processors, MediaTek Dimensity 1200, first new powerful SOCs in the world and India. The facts speak for themselves. From a market share of 3% in 2018 to 10% in 2019, the brand witnessed a massive 255% increase in sales during the 2019 festive season, clocking sales of 5.2 million smartphones. In 2021, Realme became the fastest smartphone brand to reach 100 million users globally, out of which 50 million were from India only, the fastest by any brand so far in the country. 
What a phenomenal growth indeed. Now, according to IDC research, Realme became the number two smartphone brand in quarter four of 2021 and overall number four in the same year with 15% market share. As Realme grows leaps and bounds, let's meet the man behind this tremendous feat. I have with me Madhav Shet, VP Realme and President, Realme International Business Group. Welcome, Madhav. What a beautiful office and what an incredible journey. Where did it all start from? I think it all started back in 2018, four years before. I still remember the day when we launched our Realme One that was back in uh, May 2018, 15th of May. Our first sale went on May 25th. But if I just have to go a little bit backwards, we all started with a conversation from a call from a Skyser, which had a very casual conversation on how can we cover the customers in you know, online space. It doesn't always start like that and then it becomes huge, right? Yeah, that's how the casual conversation moved towards the business. So the casual conversation was all about that basically how can we have more brands in online because at that point of time the biggest opportunity what we saw was that basically the number one and number two brand there were only one or two brands in online space mm -hmm. but the gap between the number one and number two was huge. And that's where we found that there was a huge space for more brands. And I believe in any brands with such a big uh, consumption economy, there should be at least more than four or five brands, but not just one brand like Realme, but multiple brands. Right. And that's where we felt that basically the opportunity comes. The second opportunity what we saw is that when we went to the consumers, we understand that any brands who are serving online, they do not have the right set of designs, right set of performance. So we made sure that basically design and performance becomes the pillar for Realme. And uh, going with the same philosophy till today, we have made sure that the designs have never been compromised in any of the price segments, starting from our C series going to our GT series, which is the high end phones. Right. At the same time, the performance has never been compromised, even during the worst hit period of pandemic. I have a very important question, but how about a cup of coffee first? I don't mind that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So Madhav, tell us about some of the brand initiatives uh, that you have taken. ESG, which is Environment, Society and Governance, becomes one of the most important initiatives within Realme. Mm -hmm. At the same point of time, we have taken a lot of initiatives like double zero. We have committed to be a double zero or zero emission targets by 2025. And I think that is one of the biggest initiatives. And uh, I believe this phone is reducing 35% of carbon emission just by the back panel itself. Mm -hmm. And by a lot of by this type of initiatives, I believe that we are able to you know make environment more sustainable. At the same point of time, we are taking a lot of governance uh, initiatives also like Make in India. We are very proactive on Make in India, and uh, we are ensuring that basically how can we promote Make in India. Pandemic was cathartic for a lot of industries, for people. Uh, lessons were learned, uh, things that we already knew were unlearned. What was the pandemic like for Realme, for you? Uh, two years of learning in pandemic, it gives us one particular uh, great understanding that we have to be taking a lot of decisions which has to be based on evidence. We have to be more empathized. We have to take software skills more priority at this point of time. We have to ensure that basically we understand the health has become one of the most important segment for us at this point of time. We understand that basically how people were impacted uh, how health impacts the global economy, how does the geodiversity and how about the diversity and inclusion, right? So all this had a lot of impact during pandemic and we learned a lot. In fact, uh, let me show you what we exactly did during pandemic. During the pandemic, Realme realized that as a brand, it was necessary for them to remain agile and pivot as per the evolving demands. One of the strategies then was to be able to anticipate the shortages of chipsets globally and therefore organizing to ensure the procurement of best performance processors from local manufacturers. They were quick to recover and ended the pandemic year with significant growth numbers. India being a key market, Realme has customized its product strategy as per the purchasing habits of Indian consumers and their consumers do not disappoint them either. 
it's a you know, user centric company it hears its user its fans they talk about it openly like if i have something problem i have something good to say about them they will take it very positively and they improve it next time realme believes in a robust feedback mechanism and hence enables its users to inquire engage and bond with them via their one step platform our aim was to build an amazing community for all realme users where everyone probably gets an opportunity to showcase their talent talk about products um, experience them and provide us with relevant feedback to improvise i have to say uh, mother it's a very young looking office thank you very much and very vibrant um, the brand is very young and vibrant very modern uh, is there something specific that you to fit in the younger millennial market it's not that realme is only for millennials we make them as a yardstick to understand their aspirations what are we trying to do is to achieve their aspirations for the future and i believe that basically the millennials aspirations from a device are the highest ones it may be gaming or it may be performance it may be multitasking you name it i think they are the best yardstick in the industry so we make them an yardstick we believe that basically if we are able to satisfy their needs i believe the entire industry as a whole can be satisfied uh, there is there is that one aspect of work life balance that we speak about and uh, uh, seeing the growth i wonder uh, are you able to strike it, strike that balance how do you unwind i do a lot of other activities which i am more interested into it but it's more outdoor activities it may be any sports or maybe cars or maybe technology or music i think these are the things what really excites me beyond work Uh, and also as i said that basically during pandemic the health has become one of the most important part right. of our daily lives so i think health has become one of my daily routines uh, which includes yoga meditation as well as gymming and i believe that basically this are the very important aspects of my day to day life now well madhav this was such a pleasure uh, seeing what realme is doing and how you're leading it thanks for talking to us thank you very much thank you so much for those wonderful insights Moving on, let's take a look at how Realme is expanding its wings to encompass a smart and trendy lifestyle for its customers and empowering them with technology. Also, what is their OnePlus 5 Plus T strategy? The company did not restrict itself to smartphones and expanded its product portfolio to other categories. Their OnePlus 5 Plus T strategy refers to a product ecosystem wherein one signifies smartphones, 5 denotes the five internet of things key categories such as smart TVs, tablets, laptops, wearables and hearables, and T outlining the tech life platform which covers their entertainment products and smart home solutions like robotic vacuum cleaners, handheld vacuum cleaners, air purifiers and more we are also expanding our showroom footprint this year to showcase the brand more to bring more exciting technology to our users and to be able to know their first hand experience of realme products these products are a further addition to the realme's tech life universe which aims to create a smart connected and trendy lifestyle for their consumers and lets technology empower life Well it seems Realme aims to bring leap forward technology and trend setting designs to the consumers. With that it's time for a short break. When we come back we'll talk about what has made Realme one of the happiest workplaces for over 10,000 folks. Stay tuned. Realme revolution from India to global. 4 years of Realme. Welcome back. You're watching Realme's Revolution and we are focusing on from India to global 4 years of Realme. Time now to take a look at Realme's future expansion plans and a sneak peek on the launch of its first flagship store. As part of the company's new Go Premium strategy for 2022, Realme launched its first ultra premium flagship device GT2 Pro in India which consists of top of the line specifications and eco-friendly materials. 
along with the GT2 Pro, the company has also launched the 4G variant of the Realme 9 series, along with several other products like Realme Buds Air 3, Realme Book Prime, and Realme FHD TV. Over the last four years, we have expanded our portfolio, keeping in line with the latest demands and trends. And our consumers have continued to shower us with their love. 5G is an unstoppable trend and Realme recognizes the importance of preparing its customer for the future. Pegging as a technology democratizer for the masses, the brand aims to equip all its smartphones above Rs 15,000 with 5G. Besides, it will also be launching 13 5G-enabled smartphones in 2022, which means more than half of Realme handsets will be 5G-enabled. What we observed two, three years ago uh, was that in India, close to 60% of the smartphone sales were happening in mainline stores and 40% was being sold online. We wanted to be part of this large share of market, which is why Realme started exploring sales via mainline channels in 2018 and we came into complete play in 2019. Right now, Realme has 40,000 stores across India and our focus would be strengthening these stores as well as onboarding more staff. These 40,000 stores contribute to almost 80% of Indian smartphone business. By end of 2022, we want to grow it to 50,000 stores across India. We have also built 550 distributors who work with us and have been our partners. We are building a team in the mainline channels. Right now, we are a team of 200 people who work with Realme India offline team. We are aiming to become a family of 300 members this year, especially recruiting people at the frontline stores. Moving on next, let's delve into how Realme is foraying into the overseas markets. Mind you, it is already among the top five smartphone brands in 30 global countries and only growing stronger. Let's take a look at the brand's performance at the global stage. Since 2018, Realme has established its presence in 61 countries. It is one of the top six smartphone vendors in the global rankings in a span of just three years, an unprecedented feat by a smartphone brand on a global stage. With a 19% yearly growth rate, Realme became the Philippines' number one smartphone brand in 2021 with a 23% market share. In Europe, Realme was ranked fifth with an impressive yearly growth rate of 518%. In Italy, Realme came in fifth place with a market share of 6% and an annual growth rate of over approximately 2000%. In Poland, Realme emerged as number three smartphone brand with a 10% market share, keeping a continuous annual growth of more than 9000%. As the first step, in bringing Make in India products in global markets, Realme started exporting smartphones to Nepal in Q3 2021. Now coming to a special highlight of the episode. Yes, we have saved the best for the last. Many wouldn't know that Realme actually started with a team of 20 people operating out of a small conference room. And today, it's a family of over 10,000 employees planning to grow into 13,000 by the end of this year. So what's so special about this company? Let's find it out from their employees. Um, let me take you to the place where Realme all started back in 2018. This is the place where Realme started back in 2018 with just a set of young 20 employees. Where Realme 1 was conceptualized, idealized and this is where we launched Realme 1. I still remember the sound of this room when the first sale actually happened and we were extremely happy. At Realme, the work environment is such that it allows you to voice at your opinions and put forth your ideas. That has really helped me grow into the professional I am today. If I were to describe us using just five words, uh, they would be definitely resourceful, uh, insightful, engaging, spirited and creative, I guess. Meet the team behind the devices, young, enthusiastic and agile resonating well with the brand's spirit, Dare to Leap. Realme's growth story would be incomplete without the mention of its driving force, the employees. The right fit of people at various positions have steered through the growth of the company quarter on quarter, year on year, to what it is today. 
so journey has not been all too easy it was challenging to convince candidates to join a startup that was still figuring out its policies and process but we won their trust and made it through as the company celebrates its 4 years of inception the brand takes pride in growing alongside its young fans the sense of being purpose driven pushing boundaries remaining adaptable breaking limits challenging the status quo and bending the class based rules are some of the traits this emerging brand seems to abide by this set of dynamic and young workforce are overturning the existing rigid structures to make room for innovation and progress realme's leaps on people performance design quality and service seems to continue enabling the brand to leap beyond the competition and disrupt the existing mobile phone market Well after spending a day at Realme it seems that this brand not just has the momentum but it is also riding on the industry trends with faster time to market and bringing in the right product at the right time all in all every ingredient to emerge as a bigger brand in the coming years to put thing in a macro perspective technology being at the helm of economic growth the consumer tech sector is critical to government's goal of a 1 trillion dollars digital economy by 2025 and with the right tools and support the sky is the limit for realme's spirited leadership trying to make a difference in their own capacity goodbye and many thanks for watching Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.